And new tonight at 6, a judge has determined Riverbend Post Acute Rehab Center in KCK is not immune from legal action after several families filed wrongful death lawsuits against the facility. Those suits stem from several deaths that occurred there because of a COVID-19 outbreak. The I-team's Jessica McMaster has more on the judge's ruling and what this means for families. They definitely need to be held accountable. Lives were lost. Lots of lives were lost. John Rollins is just one of the attorneys who filed wrongful death lawsuits against Riverbend Post Acute Rehabilitation Center. Dozens of residents have died at the Kansas City, Kansas facility from COVID-19. That was his last uh, location that he was supposed to go to was Riverbend to get him prepared to come back home. Latrice Newman and her sister Tamisha Long filed the first lawsuit against the facility after their dad, Oki Long, died from the virus in April. Oki was there to get better after a stroke. It was a sad moment because my dad was by himself. Now the first victory for the families after a judge ruled Big Blue Healthcare, the parent company for Riverbend, is not immune from the lawsuit. The company argued it's protected under the Public Readiness and Emergency Preparedness Act, also known as PREP Act. The court ruled that the statute doesn't apply to the claims that we're making in our lawsuit. The PREP Act was intended to give drug manufacturers the ability to rush a vaccine during the H1N1 outbreak. Rollins says, and the federal judge agrees, the PREP Act doesn't apply to allegations against Riverbend. This lawsuit is about Riverbend's failure to protect its residents from the uh, invasion and, in, and spread of the infection within the facility. Wyandotte County Health officials determined the outbreak started from an employee who reported to work and cared for residents while displaying symptoms of the virus. And now a new inspection report from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services has determined the facility did not comply with infection control regulations and placed the residents in immediate jeopardy. How bad is it? This is pretty bad. We contacted Riverbend, but it would not comment on the judge's ruling. Riverbend requested the case be moved to federal court, which is typically better for defendants. However, the judge also ruled against that. The case now moves back to Wyandotte County, where a jury will decide if Riverbend is responsible. In KCK, I'm Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News. Thank you, Jessica. There's no trial date set. It is expected to take longer than normal, though, due to COVID.